Okay, everybody. Sorry, our last video was cut a little bit short by a uh, cell phone going off, but uh, at least it had pretty good timing. It went off at the end of the video instead of uh, in the middle of the video. Yes. It went off right as we were concluding the video. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, if you may recall, we were just on a mission to get some uh, some elderberries. We don't want young berries, we only want elder berries. They're wiser berries. Yes, elder and wiser. Alright, so you might wonder, where do you get elderberries? Well, obviously from an elderberry bush. Where do you find an elderberry bush? Well, the answer is right here. The game even points it out, just in case you missed it. There's something strange about this bush. Maybe it's the eyes. Oh, forget it. It's just probably just an ordinary, everyday bush with blood red berries and tentacle-like branches. Oh, yeah. And bright yellow eyes that are staring at us. Uh, it gives us the same message that we just saw. Mm, can we talk to the bush? You'll have to get a little closer. The bush seems to be hard of hearing. Oh, put the mouth under the eyes again. That was awesome. No, under. Oh, I see. Uh. Oh. That was cool. If you move the mouse just a little bit. Alright. <laughs> can we click on ourselves? No. Okay. Let's see. Um... I'm going to go ahead and save the game again real quick, just because this bush is kind of dangerous. Let's see. Um, elderberry bush. Alright, let's see now. What if we click the hand on it? Ooh. That's not a great idea. The bush would start with the hand you offer it, then eat the rest of you too. That hurt. That really hurt. Think of being stung by a ten-foot-long wasp. Oh. You think that would be a relief in comparison? Oh. He, may, he might want to get away. And the bush keeps whacking us as long as we're close to it. Let me see, can I talk to it while I'm here? Let me get a little closer. <laughs> I'm, I'm right on top of the bush. I'm practically right on... Uh, you're about to die. Yeah. And his eyeballs go right through you. Mm-hmm. Very, very sad. You've been bitten by a berry bush, and you're bound to be buried. All right. They misspelled berry. They spelled it as berry. Yeah. Good thing I saved the game. All right, so what can we do with the elderberry bush? Well, it turns out we can throw things at it, because that's always a nice thing to do to friendly, happy bushes with eyes and tentacles that yes. kill you. Let's see, I have some rocks here, right? Or maybe I don't. Maybe I used up all the rocks in my inventory. All right, I will take some more then. You grab a handful of rocks. And let's throw them at the bush. Huh. You've managed to knock a branch with some berries loose from the bush. Ah, but how can we get the branch? You've knocked a berry-laden branch loose from the bush. We hope you're very proud of that. But how can I get it? Also, notice the eyes appear to have retracted, and the tentacles have come out. Hmm, I wonder now, if I tried to get that... No, I need to distract this bush with something. How about the rubber chicken? Because everybody knows that elderberry bushes like to eat rubber chickens. Indeed. Get out of the way, hero. Good job. Go get it. Alright, let's grab that branch. You strip the berries from the loose branch and carefully store them in a pocket of your backpack. That's kind of right. cute. It's like a dog. It fetched things for you. It didn't fetch it. It ate it. Still, it, it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. I suppose, depending on your definition of cute. Okay, so we got the elderberries. Elderberry berries. Elderberry berries. You have some ugly red berries from the elderberry bush. Okay. All right. So we let's, can make a pie now. Let's combine the ingredients. Let's take the berries and put them in the pie pan. You toss the elderberries into the pie tin, and suddenly they magically turned green. <laughs> Let's put in the Groo Goo. After interminable minutes, the last of the gooey Groo Goo splurches into the pie pan. You rub the slimy flask clean and put it away. And finally the bone meal. You pour the bone meal into the pie tin, then put the empty flask back in your pack. Alright. How does that make a pie? I have Where's no idea. the crust? I no. Remember, the bones are the crust. The bone meal is the crust. So you put that in last, but it somehow sank to the bottom, and it's an adventure game. All the ingredients combine That's together true. in exactly the right way. A pie pan. It weighs eight quarks. This is a metal pie tin, perfect for fruit pies. It is filled with a sickly red assemblage of poisonous elderberry berries. 
I was just listing all the things. So there we go, the goo goo. Ground up human bones make up the flour in the pan. All right, there we go. That should be all the ingredients we need. Do we need to cook it? Yes, we do. But we can head back to Baba Yaga's place for that. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh. Uh, of course. You ain't getting my pie. Yep. This is why I hate role playing games. Every time you go, try to go anywhere, you get attacked by something. You can never do anything. Alright. Uh, here we go. Say the magic phrase. The bush kind of writhes and disappears. All right, here we go. Every sense tingles with danger. Oh, and the hut walks away again. So did you get it? Show me. I won't let you in without it. Hmm. Jeez. No, all these people here are things are so greedy. Yeah. Maybe that's how it works in uh, in Mordavia. I don't know. I guess. Back with pie ingredients. Let me just go ahead and show you what happens if you try to walk through the skulls. Well, Bonehead doesn't let you. Oh, he let us through anyway. <laughs> he lied. He lied. Well, I guess he means he won't let us into the hut. All right. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and give them the pie tin. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to Baba Yaga's menu for tonight. Mmm, rump roast. Yes, sounds yummy. Oh, man. The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been cooked to a delicate golden brown. It got cooked by lasers. That is so cool. Hey, bird legs. Squat! Oh, fine. And he automatically walks in. You feel a sense of menace and the sensation of being watched. You quickly step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kids? Good. It's not like I trust him. Floor, quick. Make him stick. <laughs> you find your shoes stuck to the floor. Spirits of the swamp and mire, aid me in what I desire. Creature of mist, beings of fog, turn this human into a hedgehog. Not a frog. It's a new one. Oh, so cute. He's a hedgehog. Poke her. I have a sudden craving for tiddlywiggle. Perhaps some hedgehog grog, hedge piggy swiggle, and pig newtons. What's that you say? Elderberry pie? Oh darn, he was bringing that here, wasn't he? I don't suppose a piggy wiggle can get a pie from his backpack, could he? Particularly if his feet are stuck to the floor. Sigh. Spirits of the mist and more, restore this man as he was before. So now, my dining delight, do you have what I asked for? Yes. Let me go ahead and give her the uh, pie. Throw it in her face. Or set it on the table. Yum! That smells delicious. Just the way we like it. Fresh from the fire. So let me think. How should I reward you for such a lovely pie? Well, kids, should we just fry him now and have roast leg of man with green spleen casserole for a main course? No, no. Oh, all right. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. So what is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? All right, let's see. Um, click on myself. And I'll go ahead and tell about the gnome's humor. And tell about the gnome and how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want a sense of humor? I'm not sure the gnome ever really had a sense of humor making fun of poor old ogresses. Oh, all right. Take this good humor bar and give it to the gnome. I suppose there's nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't tell a joke. You take the good humor bar and put it away. You've got what you wanted, and I've got what we wanted. Tasty treat, now retreat. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess you like the pie, or you would have taken its place. All right, and if you check your inventory, see that yellow thing that popped up? This is the good humor bar. It weighs two quirks. While this bears a passing resemblance to an ice cream bar on a stick, 
It hasn't melted the whole time you've been carrying it. It feels kind of funny in your hand. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> oh, hilarious. All right, I better go ahead and save the game again because we got... Can we eat it? Can we try eating it? Uh, we can. I'll go ahead and save and then I'll try it. Got good humor bar. All right, real quick, let's try eating it, see what happens. You sneak a tiny taste of the good humor bar. It tastes kind of funny. It feels funny and tastes cool. funny. Well, if it feels funny and tastes funny, then it must be funny. Yes. I'll go ahead and stop the video here, and we'll make good use of this bar in the next video. Bye-bye for now, folks. Bye-bye.